everyone, my name is Jamie Willett. I'm a consultant with Encryption Consulting, and today we're going to cover how you can use CodeSign Secure and SignTool together to sign MSIX files and MSIX bundle files. These files are a file type designed by Microsoft for installing packages and applications. If you wish to create an MSIX file from an existing file, you can turn APPX files and EXE files into them by using the Make APPX utility included with Microsoft's SDK for Windows. So let's look at that tool briefly. If we open up PowerShell, we can run this tool from the directory that we're about to switch to, which is the App Certification Kit under your Windows Kits and Windows 10 or 11, depending on your operating system. We can use the make APPX file to unpack an existing file, be it APPX, MSIX, or MSIX bundle, or APPX bundle. We can also use it to repackage one of those files into one of the other file types, as they all work very similarly. So let's start by unpacking this APPX file. And we're going to turn it into an MSIX file once we make the required changes. If you run into access denied, it's likely because your working directory is inside a place that requires administrator access. So your best bet is to launch PowerShell as an administrator. Let's do that from my host machine. Once we're in PowerShell as an administrator, we will be able to navigate back to our working directory and attempt this command again. We may need to replace existing files if we've done this process before. Once we've done this, we're going to be able to locate the file location and create a MSIX bundle or MSIX file from the output. So let's find our folder named APPX demo where we pushed our file to and we can find this APPX manifest. For details on how to modify this manifest, we highly recommend you watch our video on APPX files. In this case, I'm just going to take the existing manifest that I already have and use that to make the changes. Once we've made the changes, we're going to need to save and overwrite the file, which may require launching in administrator mode. We recommend Notepad++ as this expedites the process and does the work for you. We can then use make appx to pack the file into an MSIX file. We'll specify the directory from which we're packing and press enter. We're going to have to overwrite as I already have an existing file, but as you can see, we've created the package. Now that we've created the package with the correct certificate parameters inputted, we'll be able to proceed. We're going to take this file over to our build machine and add it to our working directory. In this case, I'm going to replace the existing file and use PowerShell to sign. Now, if we try signing, we are likely going to run into an access denied error. This is because by default, many MSIX packages are read only. Let's check the properties and make sure this is not set to read only before we try and sign. In this case, it's not set to read only, so we're good to go. As you can see, SignTool has successfully signed the file, and this concludes our demo on how to sign MSIX files. Please watch the companion video on APPX files so you have a complete understanding of the signing process.